Yo, hello guys and welcome back again to a brand new video. In today's tutorial, I will be showing you how you can actually buy USDT or send USDT to USD or USD to USDT while using WISE. So, first of all guys, what, what I will need you to do is go to your WISE account using your phone mobiles, your um, application on phone or your websites on PC so let's open wise just like so and from here you can open this page here there's a register for those who doesn't have an account you can just put your email and then your password and then your phone number and here you can just log in so now after your account will be open just like that you will have to go to a, a cryptocurrency because we need to buy USDT for example so we go for example to Binance P2P and we open it like that now what we are going to do is check our currency in our wise account so if you have for example euros we go back to binance and from here we choose euro so let's choose euro like that and all payment we change it to y so let's search for wise it is the first one so let's pick it and here you choose whether you want to buy or sell so for example if we click on buy of course i am not logged in but after you logged in they will ask you for how much the amount that you want to sell it or to buy it and then right after that they will take you to a page where they will ask you uh they will give you the information about the person that you will buy the uh the the currency from so for example this guy you will find his email on wise etc so you copy his email you go to your wise account send money uh, from send money go and put the amount same currency and uh, continue and then personal account you put your formations real quick and then you have the next step which is pasting the address of that person right after that you will send him the money and then he will send you the usdt on your account and the same thing goes for sale but for sale he will send you the money first and you will send him the usdt second so thank you guys for watching and see you in the next tutorial